keeping your 13 First Alert forecast just ahead. All right, thanks, Brian. New tonight, some people living in the village at Centennial Springs say they're in shock tonight. They say they bought their homes because of a nice park in front of their community. But now, as 13 Action News anchor Christopher King tells us, a developer wants to turn the park into an apartment complex. Parents bring their kids here to play in this park, but a developer wants to uproot all this and build rental apartments here. Homeowners we speak with aren't buying that. Without a place to play, it's a nightmare. Mary Beth Moore and her family moved to the village at Centennial Springs in Large Park because of the park right across the street. We love it. It's so easy to walk across the street, literally walk across the street because the park is directly across from our home. She thought her HOA owned the park. She found out a developer does, and that developer wants to level the park and build an apartment complex in its place. There's not one resident that wants apartments. About a hundred annoyed homeowners crowd the room here at a nearby YMCA to tell the developer keep their hands off the park. We don't actually own the park. Matt Barrettino is an HOA board member. He says the HOA can put in a bid to buy the park. It's going to be really tough. Barrettino tells us they may have to ask homeowners to fork over a ton of money. They're saying $650,000. You think you can get that? I don't. So is this a done deal? No, absolutely not. Liz Delk is a lawyer representing the developer, RH Centennial. She says the developer has offered to sell the park twice before. The cost of the park to uh, build was about 650000 I believe he gave uh, about half of that to the HOA and they did decline. A spokesperson for the developer says this project is still in the very early stages. Homeowners are looking into the possibility of launching a petition to stop the project or raising enough money to buy the park. Christopher King, 13 Action News.